How to get more website traffic. Hi, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider. And in today's short video, we're gonna be talking all about how to get more website traffic. And more importantly, website traffic that actually converts into leads or sales. Because to be perfectly honest, anybody can get traffic, but it's gotta be the right kind of traffic and it's gotta convert, otherwise, what's the point? Now, before we actually get into the methods, I wanna draw your attention to the link below this video. There is a full blog post that I've written on this topic. You can see it on screen right now. Make sure that you go and check that out and also hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. So what can we see here? Well, we can see that I've broken down this article into different sections, so we're gonna run through some of this stuff very briefly. How can you get more traffic to your website? Well, the first thing is you want to focus on a specific niche and a specific avatar within that niche. Now, I'm gonna show you a website that does this very well, which is this one. This is called Performance Golf Zone. Now, this is a really cool website and it's just really, really laser targeted. Anybody that visits this website knows exactly what it's about from just checking out the first thing that you see above the fold. And they've got their customer avatar dialed in. They don't just want anybody that's a golf player. They're not looking for super high level professionals. They're looking for people, generally male, that have money to spend that are 50 years old and above. And if we actually scroll right the way down and we look at their testimonials, that's exactly the kind of person that's leaving a positive, glowing testimonial on their website. Now, I've seen these guys advertise on Facebook because I've been checking out the website and looking for inspiration for my own niche sites. And then these guys hit me up on Facebook with ads. They've really got their stuff dialed in. So this is a great website to use as a model, even if you're not into golf yourself. Now, what you also need to make sure that you do is make sure that your website is mobile responsive, it works across all devices, and it's really fast. Now, that's one negative aspect of this site, because I checked this site out, page speed is not that good. If I go to this particular blog post that I've written, and then I go over to um, Google PageSpeed Insights, you can see that on mobile, it gets a score of 98, and on desktop, it's the same, which is a really, really good score. If you'd like to learn how to improve your website speed for free, then I'll leave a video in the description, and I'll also put it in the top right in that little eye, so you can check out my video on website speed. If you're getting traffic to your website and they're leaving really quickly because it's taking too long to load up, then you're not gonna get anybody opting in or buying your stuff. So again, it's kind of pointless. Let's go back over to my article. So we need to also create a social presence. And this is where a lot of people struggle. They start out with all these big ideas and then they try and be on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere. And not every niche needs to be everywhere. You need to think where is your ideal target customer. For a lot of visual niches such as cooking or yoga or travel, people like to see images. So it's, a great, it's great to be on Instagram, it's great to be on Pinterest. If you're in more current affairs, new style niches, then Twitter is a great social media platform to focus on. But don't focus on everything. Pick one or two places and really narrow it down. So how else can we get traffic? Well, we can take advantage of this. So I've come over to YouTube and I've typed in a search phrase, how to grow a bonsai tree. We can see 4,400 monthly searches per month. Now, if I have a blog uh, blog or a website about bonsai, then of course, how to grow a bonsai tree is gonna be a great thing to write about. But we need to delve a little bit deeper. So we can type in questions to Google and we can come down here and we see people also ask. Let's open this up and close it. That's gone from four to about six or seven. And we can continue to do this, just keep doing this, and we get a ton of different ideas for content. And if we're trying to dominate the bonsai growing bonsai niche, then all of these topics can be blog posts, they can be videos, or we can even take these subtopics and make one big monster article. We know that these are things that people are asking. Now, a trouble with this is, how do we actually get the content? Well, what we can do is we can snipe the content. So for example, we've got our bonsai trees hard to grow. So what I can do is I can copy this and I can use a third party tool such as conversion.ai and I'll leave a link below to that. I can click on this content improver. I use this quite a lot. And then I can get rid of this, plonk this in, and hit generate AI content. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna rewrite that content, it's gonna be completely unique, and then I can take this 
new piece of content. Of course, I'll proofread it and check it for accuracy. And then I can put it on my blog post under the heading, um, are bonsai trees hard to grow? And I could even reword it, are bonsai trees difficult to grow? And very, very quickly, I've got content for my website without having to stress about research or spending ages writing it. That's a great thing to do. If we come over here, I've typed in a completely different keyword. Is Groove Funnels worth it? And what we see if we come down here, and this can work for a ton of keywords, is Cora ranks very, very highly. For a lot of question words, Cora ranks highly. It's an authority site. And you can go onto Cora and you can start answering questions. And if your question, if your answer is decent enough, you could become the featured answer and you can direct people to an article or to a YouTube video that expands on that topic. Don't be spammy and send them to an affiliate link because you'll get in trouble. But you can get traffic from Cora and you can send it to your website. Another great traffic source is what I'm doing right now. It's YouTube. So I've come over here to YouTube and I've typed in how to to bake a cheesecake. Let's pretend we're in the baking niche. This particular keyword gets approximately 2,400 searches per month. But look at the views, 19 million views, 3.2 million views, 5.8 million views for the top ranked videos. But if you try and outrank these people, you're going to struggle because you probably won't have the authority that these people do. So how do you get traffic from YouTube for such keywords? Well, you either take out discovery ads. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to a video I've got all about discovery ads. But in essence, what you'll be doing is you'll be putting your ad above all of these videos. And if you have a nice thumbnail and a title, some people will click on it and consume your content. Or you can run in-stream ads, which are little commercial style ads that appear in front of the video. So I clicked on this video in a new tab, and what do I see? I see an in-stream ad. Now this is, at first glance, completely untargeted. It's about videos, a video creation software. I wanted to learn about cheesecakes, and I'm seeing an ad for videos. If you've got your ad, which is all about cheesecakes, and sending people to your blog post, your landing page, your sales page, you can get some really laser targeted traffic. And if you've got the budget, you can get a ton of traffic through to your content. These guys, it may seem like they're untargeted, but I've been to their sales page before and they're simply retargeting me to get me back to their sales page and then, of course, potentially buy the product. I actually already own it, so I'm not quite sure why they're doing that, but that is what it is. Look, there's tons of stuff in here. I've got there's Facebook ads. You could use Facebook ads. You could use different kinds of PPC advertising. You could write guest posts. You know, there's but focus on one or two things. So anyway, that's enough for today's video. How to get more traffic to your website. There are tons of methods, but you want to focus on one or two. Click the link below to check out the article and I will see you shortly. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below and I'll see you soon.